Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com, and today we're going to talk about branding for your library. I had a viewer write in to ask about branding, specifically what should be branded? How far should we take our branding? Great question. I'm going to give you a couple of tips before I do. I just want to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember that you can ask a question for a future episode of the Library Marketing Show by clicking on the Library Marketing Show tab at my website, superlibrarymarketing.com. All right, let's get into today's topic, branding for your library. How much branding do you really need? So the first thing I wanna point out is the whole purpose of branding. Branding for your library is designed to help people recognize immediately when materials come from your library. You gotta think about all the content that people are exposed to every day. They're getting messages from retailers and from nonprofit organizations and from politicians and from their friends and family and from publishing companies, and they're just being bombarded with stuff. And one of the ways that your library promotions can stand out from the crowd is to have rock solid branding. So we want people to be able to recognize it immediately when they see it. Like, for instance, I guarantee, think of a brand like McDonald's or Target or Nike. When you see promotions from those companies, you don't even need to see the logo. You recognize that it's coming from them because their branding is strong. And branding is not just a logo. It involves consistent colors, fonts, and images. So what you're going to want to do is to really establish a style guide for your library and I'm gonna put an article in the description down below to help you walk through the process of doing that. Once you have your style guide in place, you're going to want to make sure that all of your materials have that consistent colors, fonts, and images. Now, I'm gonna stop here for a second and talk a little bit about internal stakeholders because I think most of us who work in marketing and maybe have a background in communications or have done promotions for our library for quite a while we understand the importance of branding but we are maybe working at a small library we have a number of staff members who are helping create materials and it might be a little more difficult to get those folks onto um, onto our way of thinking so it's going to take a lot of internal education down in the description, I'm going to put a link to a second article. This one was from an interview I did with the marketing person from the Toledo Lucas County Public Library in Ohio a couple of years ago, and she talked a lot about how she got her internal stakeholders on board with branding. So to answer the question from my viewer, how far should you take branding? I think all of your materials need to be branded. That doesn't mean that you have to add a logo to all of your social media graphics or to your um, website graphics. You have to think about where you're placing things. Logos and branded headers and footers totally need to be on emails, on signage, like print signage, um, that especially if it's outside the library, but if it's inside the library, you don't really need to add your logo or your address, your website, URL, um, your social media icons to all of your materials. Think about where those items are being placed and how people are going to understand that they're coming from your library. That being said, those internal materials like signs inside your library, like your social media graphics, those need to have those consistent colors, fonts, and images so they blend in and are part of a larger awareness of your library. All of those things are gonna be visual cues to your followers and your library users so that they can recognize materials are coming from your library. And so your library's materials stand out in the content crowd. That's what I have to say about branding in a very short nutshell. Be sure to read those two articles down in the description. If your library, if you've got some advice, 
on branding for this particular viewer, would you let us know down in the comments of this video? I'd love to hear what your library has done um, in branding. And in particular, I think this person probably would love advice on selling branding to internal stakeholders. So let us know what you did down in the comments. Again, go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab to suggest a topic for a future episode or to nominate your library or another library for kudos. And kudos this week, there are 10 library professionals in the state of Kentucky who won the Library Science Tuition Scholarship. And I want to recognize all of those winners because I, first of all, thank you, State of Kentucky, for making money available so that these folks who are already working in public libraries can get their um, library science degree and help serve um, their community in a more uh, advanced and critical way. So these particular library professionals come from Taylor County, John L. Street Library, Boyd County, Hopkinsville, Christian County, Henderson, Wayne, Green, Hardin, McCreary, and Casey counties in Kentucky. They all won the scholarship. So congratulations and thank you, Kentucky, for making those scholarships available. I really appreciate everybody coming and watching my videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment to let me know what you thought of the video. Share this video with other folks working in library promotions. Thanks again for spending time with me and I'll see you next time.